Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error code through the Microsoft Security Client that says an error has occurred in the program during initialization. If this problem continues, please contact your system administrator. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the Start menu. Go ahead and left click on the Start button one time. Type in Services. Best match should come back with Services right above Desktop App. Go ahead and left click on that one time. Now you want to scroll down this page until you get to the Windows Defender section. So it should be somewhere near the bottom and there should be a few services in here. You want to go ahead and just double click on each one of them and make sure startup type is set to manual. And if server status is stopped, you want to go ahead and left click on the start button. So again, just do that for each of the Windows Defender services in here. So again, just run through all of them. And then try and restart your computer and see if that's been able to resolve the problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back on command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. And they all start with REGSVR32. So just copy each one out of my description one at a time. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. So it should say each one succeeded. So we're just going to go ahead and down the line, do each one of them in here. last one. And once that's done, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. And one final thing you can try would be to again open up the start menu, CMD, right click on command prompt, run as administrator like we did before, select yes. We can try running a system scan here, so just type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard to run that command. It will take some time to run, so I'm not going to make you guys wait through that whole process. So once it's done running, restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.